Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be taking a look at some deceivers for bot war from Traders Galaxy. Okay, I'm back checking out some deceivers for bot war from Traders Galaxy. Um, these are additional giant stumpy robots to supplement the ones in the starter set. So I won't be going through every bag. Uh, but they are giant and stumpy and smaller and stumpy. But we'll have a look at them up close when they're all assembled. To show you how they come, they all arrive in these sort of foil pouches, which are Ziploc. So handy for storing components afterwards, especially if you're playing games with lots of funny little components. The set contains three 50 mil bases. Yeah, three fifties. And also three large models for this game of skirmish combat. It's funny having an eight mil skirmish game where the models are huge. But as you can see, the casts are all very crisp, even down to the turbine on the back of that. Good level of detail. And interesting set of sculpts, including this one who has somebody's head on a stick. I don't know if that's an investor, but I would question what's happening there. come with a sort of ball socket joint. There's a limited amount of posability in them, but I don't mind a lack of posability for the chance to field giant stumpy robots on the tabletop. Castings are on the whole very clean, but I can't see any major issues with slippage or mold lines. Indeed, individual fingers there are all present and correct without any major flash issues around them. It's an excellent, excellent cast. Small bit around that uh, knuckle. I'd also like to point out, despite just being packaged in a little foily pouch, it shows the, the quality of the resin that there's not just a handful of fingers at the bottom of the bag, because nobody treats miniatures quite like Australian Postal Service. Um, they are renowned for liking to play AFL. So the fact that these have survived bodes well for their life in your gaming. But let's get these all assembled and we'll come back and have a look at the, the whole team and uh, have a bit of a talk about their gameplay stats. Okay, I'm back and they're all built. And um, we're going to start the bidding with uh, Narcocon, the leader of the deceivers on earth. Uh, so the sort of deceivers general with galaxy death not being here. Nice looking model. Doing the uh, Vader, we can rule the galaxy with one hand out, which makes sense. Overall, a uh, very clean build, nice casting on it and good detailing throughout. Uh, some slight cleanup to do on some of the flat panels on the legs. There's a very, very small amount of um, sort of seam line from where the, the casting was done, but overall a terrific figure. He is accompanied by his sins. so. We have the four who I like to think of as uh, our sort of our chaos powers. We have Crore, who's a winged, arm scythe wielding, frenzied lunatic. As you can see. Simple build and good detail. 
very crisp. Should paint up a dream. Next up, we have Siren, one of the smaller uh, of our mainline bots. Pretty sure I should have had that angled down to sit flush on the ground. However, I glued it onto the base afterwards uh, in what can only be described as a rookie mistake. However, I'll put uh, something under that so it's resting on pavement or, or uh, a step or something. Or I could always pop it in the freezer, pop the arm off and glue it flat like it's supposed to be. Decisions, decisions. So Siren. My personal favourite, Ravenous. With that huge mouth with a double row of teeth. Like a shark coming forward in rows. He is particularly sinister. I really like him a lot. Again, all of these beautifully sculpted and cast. After Ravenous, we have a Vericon. So Gluttony and Avarice. A lot of air support in this um, starter set. Handy if anybody is trying to uh, throw you a fastball from above. And then Malacon, who is an unusual fellow. Starting to give in to the Infestor's Curse. Uh, so was quite happily sending anybody to their death to try and save himself. I like the, uh, I suppose, runes on the back of his, I'm not even sure what you would call that, stole. It does have an Infestor's head on a stick. It's always a good look. And then, my greatest feeling. So, see the spikes on the back? Clearly they are meant to be similarly aligned. And when I looked at them, I thought all of the spikes looked the same, but you can see they're not the same. And uh, ordinarily, I would drive for everything. And on this occasion, I did not. Uh, so here's your warning. Do not go ahead and glue those spines in without checking the orientation uh, and pairing. Otherwise, you'll find yourself in a similar condition to me. But I love the big uh, shoulder-mounted cannon there. You never know when you're going to need some support. And then the big bots are accompanied by four smaller sins. So we have fault line. Simple one piece model. Just straight on the base and away you go. Then we have crazy. With these, uh, I suppose, Tesla-like coils all arcing off. Really like him. When I initially looked at it, I was thinking, well, that's a lot of flash. And then I double-checked and went, oh, no, it's not. Then we have Symphony, our guitar wielding lesser sin. With what could be 
a stack of speakers on the back, like Marshall amps. And finally, Decibel, with those two massive speaker uh, oral cannons on the front. See, I haven't cleaned this one out yet. So there was a bit of resin in the center there, but it should be empty like this one. But overall, they give you an interesting little set of uh, support bots for your mainline sins. So there we have it, Narcotron's villainous band of deceivers. Um, interesting looking figures, have a, a touch of the um, four horsemen slash four demons, four cast powers coming at you in giant stompy robot foam, no less. Uh, terrific looking stuff. I love the direction Bot Wars take with these um, miniatures, giving you that sort of idea of a, a skirmish game, even though it's six mil, all the figures are massive. Uh, let me know what you think below of the Deceivers and Narcotron's little crew there. Otherwise, I'll be back again with more Bot Wars soon. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.